as my Halloween costume. I tie, I try cosplay my cat. That's why I have a striped shirt. Um, he's black and white. He's adorable. This week, um, I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to do a top ten scary like movies and TV shows. We did not celebrate Halloween here, which is like why. But I like it. I really, really love Halloween. I love the spirit of Halloween. So I made a top 10. It's a top 10 mixture between TV shows and, and movies that I like. Because uh, I was gonna initially do a top 10 movies and a top 10 TV show. And I thought, well, I'll do that. But it would take so much time, seriously. I was just gonna be here rambling about 20 different things. And I think a short one is better. So that's why I'm like, I'm sum summarizing everything into a top 10. The 10th one is Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby, I got obsessed with this. This movie is a nodie, but a goodie. It was made in 1968, if I'm correct. 1966, something like that. Um, and it's the story of like a cult, basically. Rosemary has a baby with her husband, and her husband is a, an actor, but like a failing one, he's not really good, and then he makes a, a pact with the devil um, because he wants to save his career. And, he, and, and in return, the pact, like, it kind of involves their first child. And Rosemary doesn't know anything about that, and she's like, well, what's going on? You guys are shady, and there's a bunch of people involved. It's super cool. It was made by Roman Polanski, which I know has a lot of background controversy around him. I know that, but I really like him. I really love his movies. So yeah, top 10. This is my 10th one. My 9th one is, of course, Supernatural. This is a TV show that everyone watches, everyone likes. I was really obsessed with it in the first seasons. I was really obsessed with it when it came out. I was just... It was my thing. I loved it. And as the seasons grow, grew older, I kinda didn't like it anymore. But then I kinda picked up again and I liked it again. Um, I still have a love-hate thing with the last seasons, but the first ones, they are insanely good. They're well written. It was super uh, original when it came out, like nothing was like that. Um, and my sister has the boxes I was gonna show you guys, but I forgot to pick it up and I'm too lazy to go get it. The eighth one is a classic to me. I don't like it. It's a classic to me. I watched this when I was a kid, um, and I was obsessed with it. And it's Buffy. Buffy, for someone who watches it today, the first seasons are not really that well constructed. If you watch it again, like I kind of watched it again the other day, and I was like, huh, really? I like that. <laughs> But it's really cool once it, the seasons grow older, it starts to pick up and it's amazing. The seventh one is basically, I don't think there should be Halloween without zombie movies. And I don't, I really hate the Resident Evil ones. I, I just, I'm a die hard fan of the games, the, the early games. And I think they cracked on top of that and they just like, yeah, let's just take the name, let's take some characters and let's just, just blow everything off and do something completely different and that's what they did. So I really, really, really hate it. So, I don't know, I really love zombies, I really love movies and books about zombies, but I find it really hard to find good ones. And I think Zombieland is one of the best ones there is. It is not scary, but it's so funny. It's amazing. And I think Halloween Without Zombies it's not Halloween, come on, let's be real. So I would definitely say Zombieland is on my top 10 because it's amazing. Number 6 for me is something new, fairly new, I think they're on the second season, and it's, and it's Sleepy Hollow. There is a movie called Sleepy Hollow, I believe it's from 1998, 90, 1999? I don't know something like that and it's with Johnny Depp and stuff and it's I like it too but this show is so cool and it's super scary at some parts I'm gonna put here one of the like scariest scenes of all times for me I was like oh I legit 
had trouble sleeping that night when I saw that. And, I, and it's really good. And there's like a powerful female character in it. A gorgeous, gorgeous guy. Like, he's so beautiful, he's so beautiful. So beautiful. I want to cry whenever I see it. And it's your regular story about Sleepy Hollow, but it's new and unexpected. And for a TV show, I really like it. I haven't watched the second season yet, so I don't know if it's just as good as the first one was, but I really recommend it. It's super cool. Now, for the fifth one, I think I just put it because it's a cliche. If you don't have it in a Halloween party or something like that, then it's not Halloween. It's the movie Halloween. We all know it. It's from 1970 something. And it's just epic. It's not that good. Like the, the effects and everything. They're not that good, but it's a classic. Can you be a classic? I don't think so. Number four for me is the classic too, is The Exorcist. I remember I was watching it when I was like eight. I was watching in the morning and no one was at my house. No, I was watching it. Dude. Legit nightmare. The only hope. A bunch of fears about that movie. I still have a lot of like feelings about that movie. Um, the whole like shooting the movie was surrounded by spooky things that were happening and people dying and stuff. And I don't know. I really like it. Number three is one of the my favorite movies. Like all-time favorite movies um, and it's The Shining. I love it. I think everyone has seen it but I don't care. I just love it. There was a time in my life that I was really obsessed with old movies like classic horror movies. I think it was around that Rosemary's Baby thing that I had um, and I, I remember watching The Shining and I was like oh my god oh my god it's so good. It was so different from everything that I had seen and I was just like that's a classic. Now, number two is a TV show that I am obsessed with. I have uh, little sessions of this TV show with my friends, Lucas and Tish. I'm somebody that gets scared easy and gets really like, oh my god, oh my gosh, what's going on, and stuff. Um, my friends, however, are not that much. Lucas is a bit, but Tish isn't. And let me tell you, they get scared. They really, they get like really legit scared with this one. And the name is Paranormal Witness. Um, I'm a sucker for sci-fi, the channel. I love everything that they make. Even though I know that they're not that good. They're not that really quality um, TV shows. But Paranormal Witness actually is. They tell paranormal um, stories, like things that had happened to people. And they actually have those people go into the show and narrate the story and the actors are really 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 damn good like seriously and the filming is really cool and I just love it I think they have three seasons they were um, coming up with the fourth one but the third season has a bunch of episodes and they talk about the Charles Manson thing and someone that got involved with that they have UFO abductions and they range from a bunch of scenarios. They talk about legends and they talk about spirits, hauntings and everything. And it's just hella cool. I'm gonna leave the links to the ones that I like the most. And maybe you can watch them. They're in the description. Check it out. Now the number one for me is something that I watched in the movies. I think it was last year. If it wasn't last year, it was in the beginning of this year. I don't remember what very well. I watched it with my sister. I screamed in the movie theater. I am not someone that does that. I get like, ooh, stuff like that, and I get really impressed, and I go to sleep, and I'm like scared, but I screamed. I legit did that ah! in the movies, and it was for The Conjuring. The Conjuring is now one of my favorite all-time movies. It was so well made, and it wasn't like loud noises and loud stuff. It was really the entire scenario. The director did amazing, did an amazing job with that. The photography of the movie is completely incredible. The soundtrack, the actors, everything is so cool and I just, I'm obsessed. And plus, it's based on a true story. So yeah, definitely The Conjuring. I'm gonna watch it again. Then we reached the ending. There is a bunch more. I think a top 10 is just, I'm being mean to movies because there is a bunch more and as I was talking, I was remembering 
so I was remembering. So I made a little bonus thingy here. Bonus time! Yay! For three games is Silent Hill, the first one. PS1, yeah, it was insane. I got chills. The one that they made this year, which is a demo, I think that there is, is amazing too. I would recommend you to play or watch it. I watched it on YouTube and I'm gonna leave the link for a gamer down below so you can watch it too. Insanely good. The second one is Resident Evil 1. I grew up playing Resident Evil. I grew up watching my sister play Resident Evil on the PS1. And it's so cool. It's so good. It's the, the graphics are terrible, I know. The story isn't that well made up and the first zombie is ridiculous. But it's a classic. I liked every single one until they got to the PS2 ones and they got weird and the zombies talked in Spanish. Matalo! But yeah. Anyway, I liked them too, but the first one, which is in the house, can't beat that. That is it! I hope you enjoyed this. I know I forgot a bunch of other movies that really deserve to be here, I'm sorry about that. Um, but I, I don't know, I kind of did this on a wimp, and I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorite ones to watch during Halloween. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye! This is a cat that I was trying to look like. He's black and white and he's super hella scared. Right, babe? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. You can go. Run, babe. Run.